Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy 2 slash 4. Um, so I went back in and grinded up. You can see that we are now level 43 Rosa, level 42 Radio, which I was under the impression you gotta get to level 45 before you got lit 3, but she actually got lit 3 at 42, which is great because it was taking her a long time to level up. You had like 50,000... Let's see what it is now. To level up to 43, she's going to need 46,000 variants. And even though some of the monsters in there gave us 6,000 or 4,000 experience, the Toad Lady, which I thought was a man in the last episode, I apologize, only gives us 1,800. And the plant ones were very rare, it seemed like, because I wasn't getting them a lot. So I wasn't able to... Raise the experience enough, and then Crane gained 44, Edge is 40 now, which is great. He actually learned to move Smoke, which I used in battle, and it turns out... Did he already know Smoke? Maybe he learned something different. Yeah, he learned Image. I don't know what that does. I don't remember if we used Smoke during battle in the actual episode last time, but I used smoke while I was leveling up or something. And it took us out of the battle. I didn't think it was... I thought it was going to make it hard to see so that the enemies missed, but it just made us leave the battle for some reason. I don't know why you would use that. I guess to run away without losing money. So then... Uh, when I went in there, I actually recorded the parts we missed. But, I accidentally recorded it in OBS on the Game Boy Color emulator scene because I was using that last to record Oracle of Ages. And... So I have a video with no video and only me talking, which is dumb. I'm not going to show that. There is something that happens in there that we can't do anything about. I did get a couple more chests with random stuff in it. I got a mute knife and some arrows. Samurai arrows. And then you meet one of the old characters in the game. But you can't do anything with them at the moment. So I'm just going to save that for when we can do something with it. So let's go to Monster Cave. I don't know where that is, but we'll find it. I think this is it. Land of the Monsters. So in this cave, I also changed, I don't know if I did this during the Let's Play, but I changed, Rid I changed Rosa to be in the front row she was muting monsters a lot and it was taking her a long time to do that so i changed her into the front row and so she could cast me faster um so this is a similar floor to the other dungeon except that the glowing orbs are red but it's the same thing we have to use rose's magic to float everybody or you get hurt Alrighty, I have a map here too, so we don't get lost like we did in the last one. So, let's go. I came here on my way from the land of summon monsters. Let's ask for help. So, we're gonna go up here first. And, ah, attacked by a monster! So actually, I believe Rydia can turn these guys mini. Do we have the mini spell? Thought we did. Oh, size. It's called size in this RPG. Like I said, I don't usually use the white magic spells besides cure. But geez, these guys can fight. I wonder if this is actually better.
to come. Oh, it didn't work. And they're gonna charm me now. Oh no! Don't be charmed. Why are you hitting the back row, dude? Stop it! Thought I had heals, but I guess I do not. There, I do have heals. We're gonna heal Rydia, I mean Rosa, because she can heal Edge. I think he wore off of that. It was pointless to heal her. She was magic. Well, one of them died. She was healed of nothing. Oh, she is still, is still attacking. Why does he go back at some point? How do you become uncharmed? Why are they still attacking each other and themselves? I thought they were done. He did heal her. Stop it! No, that's the worst one! Um, we're getting out of this fight. Stop attacking them. <laughs> we need to make it so that Cecil isn't constantly attacking because that is a um a problem. Pretty, uh, Rosa actually learned um, life too, which is great. If she wasn't charmed. She just redo this whole thing. Uh, Rydia, Rosa has no magic. So you can turn those to miniature, but sometimes it fails. Uh, life 2 is great because it, it, it turns you back to life. And... You get full health. But that was a pain, so we're going to actually take that Avenger sword off. Hold the Ogre Axe. Because that was not ideal. Because if he gets... Because he's hitting them randomly. And they're every time you hit them, they cause charm. You got a life here. And a monster attack does. Red eyes. Isn't that from the opening cutscene? And as for magic, Rydia learned Fire 3 and Ice 3. And Rosa's Samurai arrows are very good. Yeah, the experience wasn't even that good. I feel like the monsters are more powerful though. That red eye hit us and we had like... Taking a lot of damage from that. Let's fight the warriors at the beginning. Let's not attack the demon monsters. Let's try to cast Size again. I think it's Size. Maybe it was Toad. Yeah, that turns them into little tiny mans. And they, when they attack us, they're one hit point each. So we just got unlucky last time and it failed. They're missed. So we could probably just take them out without any problem now.
They seem to have the same hit points. Oh, they can still charm you though. Dang it. Don't hit yourself. Really? Still? Why is he so strong? I'm going to try Toad next time, because I think Toad makes it so that your hit points are very low. Or we could confuse them, maybe. Or cast Wall. I don't know. That's kind of... Casting Wall is risky because you can only cast it on one person at a time, and who knows who's going to hit. Oh my gosh, every step! So this is a conjurer lady. She will call things. Wow, she called an imp? Seriously? Hey, don't hit Cecil that hard. Why are you so strong? These people in this dungeon hit real hard. You don't get a lot of experience for it. It's weird. Alright, so I think we have to go this way. Down. Now we're in the basement, 2F. And there's two chests to get here as well as an exit. Oh shoot. And then I forgot. We need to cast the magic again, because I'm an idiot. She called an Arcne. I don't know what that is. But I hope it's. Allergic to lightning. The conjure is real strong too. Oh, it cast Quake on us, but we're floating, so it didn't do anything. See, Rydia's Samurai Swords are so good. Why would... You're obviously going to have Float on. This is the floor, so why would it even... Why would she even summon that? Oh no, we're surprised! Called Beetlejuice Snake. Jump on her head. Bite her with Cecil. Why is Rosa not going weird? I don't want to waste Rosa and Rydia's MP. That's why I'm making them parry instead of fight. Because we can just fight a little longer. Edge actually gained another level.
The main thing I wanted to do gain levels for was for... Rydia to get lit 3 for the boss of this dungeon. Which she did get, so we're good. This is the way to the second chest. And before we get to the chest, of course, an enemy attacks us. We're gonna run out of magic from the Amazon. Ugh. I hope there's a save point. This time we faced off against that arachnid lady, but she wasn't summoned by the summoner. She was just in the... Oh, again, I forgot to do this. How can I keep forgetting this? We did this all last episode. There's actually a way through here. These chests. Cure 2, Poison, and Ninja. I think he uses the Ninja Blade. Let's see how his besides the boomerang. Oh, that's way better. We're gonna definitely duplicate that. Why does oh Wrong person. I was gonna say, why did Cecil have a ninja blade too? Oh, we can put shield back on now that we're not using the Avenger sword. Where's his shield? Did he get lost? Seriously, where is his ice shield? Oh, maybe this one is also a one-handed weapon. That's fine. Let us see here. Let me go this way. Too. Alrighty, let's go around here. Remember, monsters can still fight us even while we're in these. Your three is in there. There's also a chest over here. It's a life. And then the only way to get to the exit of here is through this tunnel. Go up. There's a chest up here too. Oh well, we'll do it next time. I forgot to um, duplicate his sword. Oh dear. Yikers. Wow, Fire 3 didn't even kill them. Blitz them, Edge. Serious? Can you cast your size already? Now at least they can't harm us that much. I feel like they still have the same HP, though. Wow, she actually did some damage, Rydia. 
don't want to waste my arrows with Rosa. I should heal us, but we're going to kill them right now. Got the defense sword. Oh, who are supposed to give that to? Whoa, that's way better. Alrighty. We can't really get much more stuff, can we? Geesh. Everything's filled up. Gonna throw away some stuff we don't need. Probably don't need these cures. That was only one slot that it saved. And we're gonna get a few more chests before we leave, I think. Whatever. Need to perform magic. We actually have the caller call two things this time because we killed the thing before we killed her. Step into the warp. And what is this? A little city? Hmm. <clears throat> Rydia, you came back! Oh, you know monsters, Rydia, huh? Eat the one. Get out of the way, dude. And go downstairs, huh? 3,000 gups. Two thousand gups. How are we supposed to get that? Without going into the warp. I think there's a warp here too. No? I swan there was. And it's over. Oh, I see it. Right here. Samurai. An elixir. An ether too. And a samurai. Oh. Let's see, we're out of spades. Let's see how that equipment looks on Rosa. Open bow to the samurai bow. Oh, it's much better. So we can't get attacked here. We're here to face a, face a boss. It's useless to us now. Later on we can use it. Hi, Rydia. Rydia, glad to see you back! So we got a save point here. Weird, because... We're in a town. Why would there be a save point in the town? But it's because we're about to face two enemies. Bag is full. Ugh. 
There's a chocobo we can actually give those to. I don't remember. I think we're supposed to buy a blitz. I'm gonna go look what they wanted me to buy in the guide. Hold on. All right, yeah. It wants us to buy the lunar staff. Can equip those. Why won't it let me equip things? Not better than this. I understand. Whatever, we'll do it anyway. I guess it's better because we can run out of arrows. I don't know. Then we will give Blitz Whip. Iridia. Then we'll head across over to the weapon shop, which I thought you could get there through things, but maybe not. I mean, the armor shop, whatever. I want us to buy two of these shields. Two. Um, robes, and then we equip them. And then equip... Aegis shield and Cecil with the Aegis shield. Oh, we can't though. Uh, it actually wanted us to give this sword to Cecil. So. Black is Blizzard Rod, I guess. Give this to Cecil. And give him the Aegis Shield, because we're gonna fight a boss, and so I wanna have a shield. And I don't like that the background shows those chests over there are closed, when we already went there and got them. It's weird. Alrighty, let's go in the library. And into the stairs. Actually, I'm gonna change the form again. Back to how it was before. Fight bosses! Oh, I should save first, huh? That's what that save panel was. Just in case we die, we don't have to go all the way back. Our last save point. I'll meet you back here. The king, not me! Minasura, glad to see you again, Rydia. Please help us? I am willing to, but first I must see your worthiness. You have enough courage and power to challenge me? Sure. Shall we test? So she cures herself all the time. The first thing we need to do when we get the chance is to cast wall on her. She also hits pretty dang hard. So we're gonna need life to a lot. She casts life, also, which is weird. Like, she can't die or she's dead. No putting her back to life. We're gonna have to cast wall on her. 
that when she casts Cure, it bounces off of her and sticks to me like glue. So she casts Life for some reason? I don't understand. Why does she need to cast life on herself is what I don't understand. See, she cured Rosa instead of herself. Not sure why it did so poorly, though. I guess because that's all she needed. Health. It will wear off though eventually, and then we'll have to do it again. So we'll keep track of that. Can't cast magic on her, or it'll bounce off of her, obviously. we hit her, she changes her face into one of three of things. And depending on which one she picks, I'm actually going to cast Berserk on Cecil. And that makes him fight real tough, and I don't have to input anything into him. I'd like to thank you for healing us all these times. Um, berserk, doing berserk all, all makes your attack more powerful too. So there's that added bonus. Let's see if she needs a wall again. I don't want to cast wall on her before I know whether she needs it because I don't know if casting wall on her will take it away if it's still there. Yeah, it's gone. I'm glad I stayed on here. Now we can wall her again. I'm gonna fight her. And she died! 4,000 experience, King gained a level. Rydia, you have fine and brave friends. Call me whenever you need my help. You learn the Asura Call Spell. Now we can fight the king, but I think we're going to go heal first. Be right back. Alright, I healed and saved. And this... And the king is the one who is weak to electricity. Is why I wanted Rydia to have lit three. I don't know why I didn't read his dialogue, but let's go in the battle. It is getting kind of late. So if he looks at you like that, he's going to cast Big Wave, which is the same thing that the um, King of Baron did when he was... When he was the water element. So we... Oh, shoot. We are going to cast Cure 4 on everybody. Except... I'm going to cast Q. No, I'm going to fight. See, it does a lot of damage on him. 
Ice 3 does a lot of damage too, though. Or ice 2. And we're gonna keep using Rydia to do Cure 4 on us. But I wish. I guess he's not taking damage, though, because he's in the air. He did, though. He took that wave damage. King keeps jumping, and then he doesn't get healed. I'm gonna use the Blitz Ninja attack, because that is also a powerful. I think we're overly leveled up for this fight is the problem. I don't know why I heal Riddy again. She doesn't need it. And he's dead. The king was actually Leviathan, who captured Riddy in the first place. He received 56,000 experience. Did it say thou? It sure is the power of light. I, the master of summon monsters, will be your help from now on. So now Riddy will learn the call spell Leviathan. So now that we know all that stuff, we can go to where we were supposed to go in the first place, which was the sealed cave that Lumia gave us the key for. I'm gonna heal up here, save, and I'm gonna buy a bunch of tents or cabins. I'll buy a bunch of cabins. Actually, I'm gonna just save. Come back later, buy a bunch of cabins, and then we'll go to the sealed cave in the next episode. Bye!